Welcome to Spartan Design University with your host, Paul Cheney, where we try and make learning as easy as possible. We're going to take a look at the first approach to responsive design using what's called device width. This is where the real width, not the height, of the device is reported. So on a phone, you're going to get a width of 320 regardless of whether you're looking at in landscape or portrait. So this page, let's take a look at the code. Notice up here in my style sheets, I have a media query. It says only apply this rule to a screen that has a maximum width. Notice there's device width in there. So a maximum device width of 500. So anything less than 500 will have a background color of cyan. Second rule. Anything that has a minimum device width, picking up at 501, so where this one ends, anything between 501 and 900 is going to get the magenta color, and anything between 901 and bigger is going to become yellow. That's why we're seeing yellow here. Now, I'm making this browser width narrower. Okay, It is not asking for browser width. It is asking for device width or screen width. In other words, the total width from here clear over to the right side of my screen. Let's pull up a tablet now and see what we've got. So here's a tablet in portrait mode. Now remember, our code said for medium screens, anything with a device width between 500 and 900. Well, this has a width of 768. This, however, is 1024 from here to here. But remember, device width doesn't change depending on your orientation. That is a function of screen width, which we'll explore next. So the device width is still 768, even though I'm looking at this in landscape mode. 768 is still between 500 and 900, so we're still going to get this magenta color. Now, let me pull my phone up and we'll take a look at that one. Okay, I've got my phone online. Here we can see the phone is now the cyan color, which it should be because its maximum device width is 320, which is less than 500. Notice when I flip it this way, it's still reporting the cyan color. Watch the font, though. See how tiny this font is? How large this font is? That's a, I don't know if you call it a feature or a bug, but it's something we will have to deal with later on as we finalize our responsive design. We're going to have to drop in a piece of code to stop that default shift in size from getting smaller and bigger. But in this any case, we do have a cyan color showing up here. So that's a quick introduction to device width. Once again, I do not use device width because it's not as robust as what we'll show you next.